Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Dead State Reanimated. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that I should join me today, because I have lot, a lot, I've lotted all of this lot, and, uh, yeah. Um, and except for this house over here, I still haven't opened it, because it's uh, it's got an alarm on, and uh, I, I, I can't carry anything that's in there. There's nobody in there, but I would rather nothing terrible happen off camera, so I didn't do it. But for right now, we're going back home. That was... That was an interesting place. That was definitely an interesting place. We're going back home. Let me just check on our shelter. I think I did it already uh, off camera. Just checking on our shelter. Everybody's working. Uh, every everything seems to be heading towards completing today, and everything is good. Uh, so yeah, let's go back home. Let's loot. Uh, let's leave all the stuff that we got, and then we are going. Well, where are we going, Coleman? I think so. We should be okay. We got another one over there. Carmichael's garage. Hmm, that's interesting. As a name. It's probably uh, an important place. Or maybe it's not. So we got uh, 11 special items, 68 food, and 90 luxury items. Pretty good. 44 parts is also pretty amazing as well. The special items are going to uh, allow us to uh, get more parts as well. And I will show you, I will show you right now what I meant before by the uh, scrap things that uh, we have somewhere. Supplies, where is it? Ammo. Uh, it's probably in all... Let me do this. There we go. Where's the scrap? I saw... Oh, there it is. 24 scrap. We have 24 scrap and it can be used in the recycler. So, yeah. That's how it goes. Now, I will need to get myself some more ammo for the shotgun. And we do have a little bit more, but not a whole lot more. Uh, but that's okay. Um, we're going to restock everybody. Yeah, we have a little bit more still. Um, Max. There we go. And uh, Bud as well. Now, we do need some healing situation going on right now. But, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave with what we have. I hope we're not going to get ourselves in too much trouble. That's that's going to be the extent, the extent of my strategy here. Is, yep, yeah, I hope it's going to be fine. I really do, though. I really, really do. Now, uh, what do I want to do? I want to decompose a few more things for parts. Because I can. Like, for example, why do I have eight hunting shotguns? Everything goes to parts. Uh, why do I have, for example, combat machetes? I don't need those. Uh, yeah, recycle that. Thank you, two parts. Pretty, pretty, pa pretty pathetic. Uh, what about one compound bow? Recycle. Didn't I transform these into parts already? Or did I miss the... I misclicked. I might, I might have misclicked. Uh, we got a sawed-off shotgun right there. One part. Yeah, very, very pathetic. Very, very bad. I got a few of these. How many of these do I have? I remember again. Oh, we have five of these? My god, that's so many. I just need one. Uh, yeah, we have too many of these. I just need one either. I don't even need one. I'm not sure I'm, I'm ever going to use it, but just send it away. This one as well. I have one of those whites down there because I think I have more up here. But I only need two of these. That should be okay. Just recycle. Let's see how many parts. 23. That's okay. Yeah, we should be okay for, for parts for a while now. Now, until... Until we have the... Actually, we could have somebody mend the recycler, I think. But until we have the um, the uh, workshop d done... Is it the workshop or the lab? We're, we're doing two things right now. The recreation room... No, we're still not doing two, two things. Uh, so let's see if I can get, like, for example... Mm, yeah, but it's not going to be good. Anyway, we're good. Let's... Um, oh, yeah, we need to talk to somebody. Didn't we get Lloyd? Where the hell's Lloyd? Yeah, Lloyd, where are you? Wait a minute, why is, is he unav unavailable? Oh, he's unavailable, isn't he? The piece of trash? Lloyd, where are you? He had a Lloyd McCross. Yeah, he's unavailable. Where is he? Let's see how, how happy he is. He should be really happy. The guy should be just overjoyed. Yeah, he's content. Okay, so he's gonna be there. I am gonna want to talk to him, though. Where the hell is he? He, he, should, he said he was going upstairs. And he might be upstairs. Yeah, he is. He's right there. Hey, man. Hey, we're ready to fly out yet? Um, no. Um... I'm getting your extra ration, uh, food rations for your own safety. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, you're altering our deal. What part of non-negotiable did you under not understand? Well, none of it. <laughs> That's the answer right there. Anyway, um, yeah, you can you can figure out what I mean by that. Yeah, people are upset about it. It hurts my authority and endangers you. What do you propose? Well, uh, you start working like everyone else. What about that? Putting myself in danger more often for no gains at all? No, I don't think so. But if it doesn't eat, but if it doesn't eat into my current pay, I'd be willing to go as low as three rations rather than five for a day's work. That's as low as I'll go. 
Sure, I can do that. Fine, and maybe we can go find a plane that works so I can fly myself the hell out of this bargain bin confederacy. Yeah, believe me, the sooner the better for both of us. Okay, so we got a new guy, which is awesome. Uh, a guy that just that doesn't just eat, and hopefully he's actually good at, at fighting. I should really talk to him a little bit more, but let's see what he is. So he's got no job, where is he? He's still unavailable? The little piece of trash, why is he still unavailable? What? Oh, wait a minute, I oh yeah, he didn't want to work, that's right, that's right, basically, okay, he's still unavailable, but he just will eat less rations per day. Uh, I found another pilot, yes I did, but I'm gonna go with this guy, because he might be a little bit better, and besides, I want to save everybody, he might get himself killed with his attitude, so let's see, anything that would improve your mood, being anywhere but here, but since that's clearly not an option, I always need coffee, real coffee, if it looks like a powder, uh, if it looks like a powder... Huh. I'm dumping... Oh, yeah, wait. Yeah, that's a comma. If it looks like a powder, I'm dumping it on the floor. And a good cigar. Never know when you need to put an eye out. Okay, so he's a very, very charming man, as we as we have found out before. Let me get my notepad ready for this occurrence here. So, Lloyd with two L's. It's not a weird name at all. You hear that, Lloyd? Your name is weird. Uh, I'm talking to this Lloyd, not to you if you're Lloyd and you're listening right now. You have an awesome name, guy. You have an awesome name. Um, so, let's see. He wants coffee. I'm not going to need that, but whatever. And a cigar. I have so many cigars. I have too many. I need a numidor for that. Uh, let's see what else he wants. Can I ask you a few questions? Uh, so any skills I should know about? Well, a man in my profession is expected to possess a wide range of talents. I mean, being a pilot, that's not even half the job. Uh, of, the, of the job, usually. And what profession is that? Well, whatever the job calls for. I started out repossessing aircraft. Not difficult until you have had to take one from a drug dealer or a dictator. That led to international contacts and more lucrative offers, flying out more valuable cargo. Oh. Guns? A few. Sometimes of both sides of the conflict. It was all being backrolled by the US government through shells and go-betweens, so the pay was always good. Uh, what I really excel at is getting into and out of places against the odds, extracting VIPs, recovering sensitive material. I miss the risk, the rush, you know, and the piles of cash. Back when that meant something. Oh, and the mighty have fallen. How, how, how the mighty have fallen. Yeah. So you're like a spy. A spy game? Fuck those guys. Spend years at the desk until some incompetent up the chain of command takes credit for your work? No thanks. I actually work for my money. Got paid more too. Huh. So an independent contractor or something. I guess. So, any ideas of what's going on out there? I was in Cairo. Oh, isn't that ground floor or something? Uh, at the start of the outbreak. Yes, there it is. Uh, I didn't really know. By, when I said wasn't that ground floor, I was looking at his face because I'm a dumbass like that. But yeah, when I talk to my when I talk to the characters, I look at their face. Anyway, um, I, I didn't really know how, what was going on then. Had a job to evac an European businessman when they shut down the airport. I thought it was civil unrest, which is good for business usually. Suddenly, I'm getting a request for extraction everywhere: Greece, Germany, China, Japan, the Caribbean, and I. Then I realized I was running out of places to land. Of course, it didn't matter. Got shut down crossing the U.S.-Mexico border. Oh, so that's what that was. That was flak from uh, anti-aircraft, I guess. So, is that why you were at the airport? Nah, the plane was a crop duster. I borrowed in uh, order to... Oh, it was not. But anyway, I borrowed uh, in uh, order to escape the hot zone. It just barely made it to that airfield. The area around Splendid looked empty, but I'm guessing this place was a shithole even before this infection thing started. Yeah... It's kind of... yeah, whatever. Uh, so, anything I could do to improve this place? Well, we got a lot of frightened primates here, so the last thing you need is divided leadership. Consolidate power, man. Earn respect if you have to, but don't discount the power of a good bribe. Oh, and find a source of fresh water on the property. Nothing breaks a group faster than drought. Yep, I already did that. Uh, so you think uh, things will start to get better again? The fact that things have gotten this out of control is ludicrous. People have been dying forever at the hands of the living. Suddenly the dead are killing them and now they're afraid. Maybe when the smoke clears, we'll finally get... Uh, we'll, fin we'll have finally culled the herd of the fearful and stupid. That's my hope, anyhow. Yeah, you and you and um, Doug might get along very well. Probably not, though. You're probably funny and stupid or something. Uh, but anyway, I'll ask you. I'll see you later, though. Uh, yeah, so he's not helpful. Uh, it's, it's an interesting character. As I mean... An interesting person, certainly. An interesting character as well, I guess. Uh, let's get out of here. And where are we going? Hmm. I think we need to go up there. Yes, to Coleman. But we're going to need to bring, bring Vic rather than Bud. Which is a good thing because I think Bud got, got shot. So I'm going to get 
let's see what happens. I don't know where Vic is. Let's see if he's available. Hopefully he is. So let's sort this by name. B Vic is at the workshop. Okay, that's okay for me. Bud, you are going to work at the workshop if you can. Where's Bud? Bud. Okay, can you work at the workshop? He can't. He can't do anything. He can heal himself. Shooting practice. He doesn't really need that. Yes, yes. So he can't really do anything, the guy. So he's going to stay in the healing. Uh, and Vic, where are you, Vic? Down here. It's going to be in my team. Now, there is need of work in the workshop. Hmm. Nah, I don't think so. Actually, I think it's going to be complete by tomorrow, by, by the end of the day. Hopefully so. But yeah, let's just get the stuff from Vic onto, uh, no, actually the stuff from Bud onto Vic. And we're going to be good. Let's see. So, Bud, you are there. I'm going to get this out of here. There we go. And trade. Now, Vic is right there. Let's go to the bottom. There we go. No, there we go. Put that one on the arms. Put that one on the armor. <clears throat> oh, my voice broke right there for some reason. On the armor. Oh, no. Ah. And what else? What did he have? Did he have... Oh, he had an SMG. That's right. Okay, so weapons go with the SMG. There it is. It's, it should have a little bit more... More uh, ammo capacity, though, because it's really, really, really low ammo. Just You can fire three bursts, I think. I'm pretty sure it's three bursts. Huh. Or four. Maybe four. I don't know. But, yeah, it's not It's not that much. Uh, hey, Lightning, what's up, man? Um, yeah, let's go. Or boy, rather. Can I heal myself? Do I need to heal myself? I don't. Okay, so let's go. Let's get out of here and let's go to Coleman and hopefully not get killed because we have had enough of that today. Let's go, guys. Come on. We got a old general store. Oh, I can see where that's going to hand. Okay. Seems to be a relatively friendly, friend, friendly zone. There's police cars all over the place. And there's police barriers all over the place as well. Now, one thing I might have forgotten, though. No, I didn't. It's a good thing. Was to leave all my stuff behind. I didn't. So that's a good thing. Okay, let's get the fuel from here. It seems that whoever's in here is not really that interested in, I don't know, getting the stuff out of the cars. I would be all over these cars just getting for, for the generator and stuff. Although they might use the cars. I doubt it, but... Oh, man, this place is huge. We still... And we haven't even seen the actual... Um, the actual grounds of the place. Okay, so this is a barrier. Zombies will still be able to stream out, but... This is a barrier. Around here we... Oh... Is the what the hell? Is this a police? What the hell is? Oh my god! This place is huge. Oh. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's get that. I don't think I don't think they come outside too often. Judging by all this stuff in these cars and all that, I mean they did they did get everything into position to barricade the entrances and all that, but, I mean, yeah, they did do that, but apart from that, they, I don't think they come out too often. Hmm. Let's see what we have over here. Forgotten lunchbox. It's a rotten apple and a kind of, a can of soda. Now, you want to go there? Oh, we need to go around, okay. Yeah, get get everything. We're probably, hopefully gonna get new, oh, what is that? It's a, uh, yeah, it's a little building. So, this is where we got in. Yeah, oh, can't move the camera over here for some reason. Yeah, this is where we got in. So, let's go around this way and just see what awaits us. Hopefully, nothing terrible. Hopefully, these guys are friends. Because, didn't they, weren't they with Vic? Hopefully, Vic was going to be able to talk to them. I can't open that door. So, that's either barricaded or bugged or both. Uh, there's a, a briefcase over here with some stuff. It's fine. Nothing else. And this is the entrance. We knock on... Oh! Dick! Hey, man. Um, Let me save the game before I talk to you. Let's have Vic go first, because I don't... Oh, man. I got scared by the reflections there. Dick Ferguson? Thank you? That you? I mean, not thank you. No, no, no. This is Vic Castillo from Splendid. Vic, we've been waiting for you. Got your radio message. Must be weeks ago now. Uh, Big Jim Reinhardt with you? Uh, yeah, he didn't make it. Well, I'm really sorry to hear it. Yeah, Dick, I I'm here because we got a whole lot of people in Splendid. Was hoping we could move them up here or maybe get some backup to help us out down there. Nah, no, can do, Vic. 
We got our own to look after. Of course, you and any other officers and their family are welcome to join us up here, but anyone's not police, they they got no business here. Dick, you, you're a goddamn cop. We got a duty to look after these people. We need to be out there rest restoring those got some goddamn order for the civilians that are left. Yeah, they had a chance, Vic. We tried and now we're being attacked out on our own streets. Not a damn thing we can do but wait it out. They can run out there for all I care. Dick Ferguson, you fucking coward! You better believe it if I get through this, I'm gonna make sure you can't get a badge on a goddamn toy store. To you, he's, uh, to me, he says. Yeah, they're not gonna help us. Let's go. Hey, maybe you can reason with them. I mean, I'm a god in negotiation on leadership. Let's do that. Yeah, you heard them. Only way we're opening this door is to start shooting. We should go. Vic, you and your people best be on your way. I don't want to shoot, but you're, you've been warned. Now get out of here. Um, <laughs> You've got no power. I'm the goddamn law now. Uh, yeah, let's go. Seriously? What do they have? Police shotguns? That guy's gonna be a problem. Does he have a baton? How do we get up there? Oh, through here. Okay. I could storm this place. They're friends with Vic, though. And Vic didn't... I'm gonna respect Vic's decision here. Vic didn't want to storm the place, so I'm not gonna storm the place either. And besides, uh, we were we would die, I think. So, let's not die. <laughs> oh, man. This place. People just... Hey, there's guys back here. Hey, man, what's up? Can I talk to you? Oh, he's a bad cop. Oh. Oh, that changes things. That changes things. So they are bad cops. Uh, so in that case, let's see what Vic decides to do. Because we're going to storm this place and kill the son of, sons of bastards. Uh, so they are double bastards right now. Okay, so... Can I shoot you? I can. 95% chance to hit. Now what I'll do is I'll disable party following. I'll bring Max and Vic over... Or this is your last warning. Leave Coleman now or we will cut you down where you stand. You hear the sound of someone chambering a shotgun. Yeah. Fuck this. We're coming in. Okay. So we're fighting. We're fighting police right now. It's gonna be bad for us because we have... Zombies on the outside. But hopefully it's going to be bad for them as well. Let's see what happens here. I got my guy. So first things first, let's try and aim for the head. Let's bring the double time immediately. Oh, wait a minute. Why don't I have... That's a bug. Okay. Okay, so that's 17 points of damage. It's a miss. Why did I miss? 95, come on. Okay, move forward. Okay, so now you. You can shoot him. 23 damage. Now you can switch that and attack twice. So that's three, three, okay. Yeah, that guy's going down. It's gonna take a while, but that guy's going down. So I'm here bashing the doors in. It's gonna make it a lot of noise, but that's fine. And I'm sending you in as well if you can, and she can. So she should be protected from the guys upstairs. Okay, so we're blinded, that's fine. We have dogs as well. Oh my God, okay. This might be our death. We, I, I've been getting myself into a lot of trouble lately, so... Okay, so they're moving inside. Now, I don't know if we're gonna be set. Can I kill you? Yeah, I can't, because, yeah, we're very blinded for right now. So we don't have line of sight over here, I don't think. Can I reload? Yes, I can. So let's just stay there, and uh, you can move up there and not do anything else. Just stay there. We don't have line of sight. Okay, perfect. This is really good. Now... What the hell is going on? What happened there? How the hell are they throwing the grenades? I'm not gonna bring down the door. We got zombies already. Are they gonna shoot the zombies? We're gonna game the system here because I'm gonna stay where I am. Are they gonna waste all the grenades? I don't care for the grenades really, but... What are they gonna do? I can, I can bring the door down at any point right now, but this is... I, I would prefer for me to have a little bit of wiggle room. I think I need to just, yeah. So what I'm doing right now is, when I said I, I'm gonna game the system, is because I need to uh, have the double time ready for when I attack. Now this is, oh, 
Deke's attack is especially brutal. Oh, okay. So, let's see. Yeah, so what, basically I, I'm going to try and get the double time and the um, aim for the head as soon as I can. So I'm going to get these guys out of the way so they can have a little bit of line of sight. And then, if we can ambush them, the, the guys upstairs might not be able to attack. Let's... So, okay, so it's one attack away. I'm gonna go through another. Let's see where we are in our cooldowns. We have 15 turns! Five turns? Oh, man, that's gonna take a lot, take forever. I mean, they're not gonna hit us. They, they're not gonna kill us. But they are bad cops, so they don't need to go down. I mean, I understand what they... I understand them, but they're bad cops. So let's do this. Next turn, we're, we're going in. I'm gonna break the door. The noise level seems to be acceptable right now. Let's do this. Hello, gentlemen, bad lieutenant and Sergeant Pepper. What kind of name is that, man? Okay, um, Anita is gonna do this. Move back again, because she can't attack again. I need a little bit of line of sight. Uh, can I switch that? I can. Okay, so bad lieutenant is going down. He's got a shotgun, don't he? Oh, he's going down for sure. Okay, perfect. Now, of course, that's gonna be a good thing as well. Oh, I got a line of sight here! That's amazing! I also need to reload, which is not as amazing. But still pretty good. And, of course, that's that blocks the path for them. So... The correct approach... Oh, where are the doggos? Even the doggos are attacking us. That's really bad. Now they st oh they're going what yeah they can't they can't get in through here okay we're storming this place there's no stopping us right now we're gonna get so much stuff I don't really care for the stuff but I care for justice that's all that I stand for this guy's got what does he have a crappy machete what the hell is wrong with you man just you're crazy let's bring this thing down yeah down you go okay so let's bring you uh, inside as well can you loot that guy and see what he had. He's got a riot helmet. Let's bring everything. Shotgun as well. Just yeah, take everything. But not for... Oh, you can't carry that much? Oh, yeah, that's right. You, you are kind of overburdened. Let's put that down then. There we go. And now you can not look into your inventory. Let's wait it out. If he's alone... 0% chance to hit. Let's bring you in. 100% chance to hit. Got a couple of shots there. The guy's got good armor, though. No, he doesn't, actually. He's okay. Let's reload... And you're gonna stay back, I think. Just waiting for the zombies. Because they might come in through here. And there's a doggo! Okay. So that's gonna be what the shotgun is gonna the shotgun is gonna be for. There's two of them. Okay. That guy's not gonna be an issue. There's a lot of a lot of cops still. Oh the chug right now! Oh my god. Okay. Okay, sir, what do you have? You have a pistol. You need to drop that. You don't have the authority here to use that equipment. So you need to die. Sir, there we go, 27 points of damage, that was pretty decent. Now, I would like to attack him, but I'm not going to be able to, so what I'll do... Okay, so I'll do. what I'll do is I'll do this. 70%, that was pretty good, okay. So we got three zombies, at least that I can see. The dog is going down, hopefully. Another shot, he's down. And that police, is it former cop? Yeah, he's a former cop, he's not a cop anymore, he's a former cop. And I'll be able to shoot him and bring him down. Okay, I'm gonna need a little bit more. Okay, let's do this. Oh, man. I think I can die. Uh, just... How many action points do you need for that? Yeah, let's do this. And there we go. Now, the dog can eat him if he wants. The dog is coming. We have the melee guys. Oh, zero points of damage. Zero points of damage. That's what you get. Didn't bring him down, though. He's a police dog. Yeah, I mean, it would be. Got a guy with a shotgun. He's got a fire. Oh, he's, got, he's really well defended. So I think at this point, retreating might be the, our best option. It might... It might be. Let's kill the police dog here. Let's leave you there. Oh! This police dog is good. He's got armor and all. Does he? I mean, he doesn't. Yeah, police dogs have armor. This one doesn't. Okay, so let's move you over there. Attack that guy. Oh my god, this guy's strong. Okay, so you're gonna stay at the front. Hopefully allowing them to attack you. That guy's got line of sight, so I'm, I'm gonna try and move him a little bit. Um, got zombies. I could close the doors. 
I'm not gonna. Sh I'm not sure if that's gonna help us, but let's reload here. See if I can see if I can take a shot at the lawless sheriff. There we go. That's pretty decent. I'm gonna move back. Start our retreating operation here. That police dog is not gonna be a problem. That sheriff right there. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I can if I move here. 100% chance to hit. That was 20 point, 24 points of damage. Pretty awful. The dog is still not dead. He's attacking for 0 points. Attacking Anita. That was 13 points on Anita. 1 point. Now, there we go. Now he's down. Okay. Now that guy's gonna be an issue. He doesn't have line of sight, but he will attack. And he's, do he's done 10 points of damage. 4 points of damage. 4 points of damage. Okay. So... Yeah, I think retreating is gonna be the answer here. I believe that's gonna be the case. So you're gonna need to kill these guys. Just for cleanup's sake. Oh, the dog. What? Oh, this is the dog. Okay, that's a kill. Okay, move over there. And that should be okay for right now. Mm, zombies. Yeah, the reason why I'm moving outside... Oh, I got a lot of shots here. The reason why I'm moving outside is because I don't know how many there are still of them. And I can deal with the zombies, hopefully. Not really sure if I can, but hopefully I can. This guy... Down he goes, finally, man! How much health did he have? You guys go ahead and do the math, but... He had, I think, at least a hundred. I mean, probably two hundred. What am I saying? At least a hundred. Of course he had at least a hundred. Eight points of damage there for... Um, Max. That guy's got a shotgun. No, he's got a pistol. I think he has the 357. And the zombies are not outside, so that's good. That guy's gonna be an issue. So that's the problem right there. He is... We're just gonna have to retreat. Just retreat. It's gonna force them to move back. There are no zombies outside, so we're... All we want... All we need... And this is gonna be good, okay. So all we need is this setup here. Uh, and you can reload, but you can be... Right there, I think. Okay, it's all good. I should have told... No, it's fine. Let's see what they do. Six points of damage, no critical. Four points of damage, no critical. And a critical there for 42 on Anita. That's really bad. But that's gonna allow me to do... Uh, no. You should be on the other side. Because Anita's gonna need some healing. Oh, she's crazy. Okay. That's gonna be bad, actually. I can move up to her. I can't heal her, though. But I can switch around my things. I will heal her soon enough, and I think I can close the door. Can. Perfect. Okay, move over there. Oh, this is gonna be bad. So there's still a bleeding guy inside. Huh. I don't know, guys. I don't know what's gonna happen. Look at the amount of cops there are in this place. It's too deaf. Oh, Anita, come on, come back. It's a good thing she only has four. Uh, she only has eight, eight action points, but still. Uh, can I call her like, don't despair or something? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I can. So move over here. I can't do anything for her for right now. We're gonna need to kill some zombies. Uh, we're gonna wait over, over here. I don't think there's guys upstairs. But anyway, we're running out of time. So I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Dead State Reanimated. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I, and I certainly have uh, attacking these guys. It's gonna be a good thing, hopefully. And I don't think Vic is gonna be mad. Hopefully he's not. Um, but if you did or if you have anything to say, leave a comment down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.